Hello, welcome to Oxford Heirlooms. Well, as you can see, I have temporarily finished the smocking that I'm going to do on the garment. Now, I say temporarily because um, what I have done is I have not smocked this top green row. Okay, what I did was obviously I left the top row off, but on the inside, I back smocked with white on that top row. That helps me to get my neckband on. Now, another thing, I've taken out all of my pleating threads, except I left the two pleating threads up at the top of the neck. That helps me to get the neckband on also. Okay, I still have it marked in the center um, where I can center the neckband on. Okay, now what we're gonna be doing today is we're going to be working on the back French seam. I've already, I've temper, I preliminarily, I've already pinned um, the back together with the wrong sides together so that I can do the first pass of the French seam. Now what I'll do is I'll sew about one eighth of an inch um, away from the edge of the fabric. And since this fabric has been handled a little bit, it looks like I've got some little fuzzies that I'll have to trim um, after I sew it. Okay, so let me come over here to the sewing machine. I've got my wide thread in and I've got my machine set for a straight stitch. So I'm gonna go forward and backward a couple of stitches right there at my blue mark, which notates the bottom of the placket. Okay, so just about one eighth of an inch away from the edge of the fabric. And then I'll need to go to the ironing board and press my seam to one side, but before I do that, I'll trim away my little fuzzies. Let me take out another pin. Just take your pins out as you come to them. Let me clip my threads and then I will trim my little fuzzies away. I got several of them. And then I'll go to the ironing board and press my fabric to one side. So I'll be right back. Okay, I've been to the ironing board and I've pressed that seam to one side and then I finger folded the seam flat. So I'm gonna start again up here, what will be the bottom of the placket, and I'm gonna go backward and forward a couple of stitches just to tack it into place. And then with about a 3 16 of an inch seam allowance, I'm gonna sew the second pass of the French seam. Now, I can see the edge of the first seam through the fabric. So I'm just trying to stay really close to it.
when I get down to the bottom, I'll go backward and forward a couple of stitches also, just to hold the seam close. Oop, looks like I'm just about out of bobbin thread also. I like when it works out that way. Okay, so I'll fill up my bobbin before I do any more sewing. Okay, so I need to go to the ironing board and press this seam to one side one more time. But before I do that, notice I clipped to the first seam. Now I need to clip to the second seam. Okay, so um, let me go to the ironing board and press that seam to one side, and then we'll begin to work on the placket. Okay, I've got that seam pressed to one side. And um, while I was off camera, I went ahead and pinned my placket piece to the outside of the dress. Now from the inside, starting from the buttonhole side, I'm using about a 3 8 of an inch seam allowance. I'm going to sew this placket to the back opening. I'll go backward and forward a couple of stitches right up at the top to hold into place. And begin to sew. Take my pins out as I come to them. Now, when I get to the bottom of the slit, you know, I have continued the placket right across where the seam ended. So I will sew right through the seam and continue up the other side, maintaining my 3 8 of an inch seam allowance. Now, when I get up close to the um, side that doesn't have the buttonholes, I'm going to sew close to the smocking because it looks a little bit nicer if there's not an eighth or a half or you know a quarter inch of unsmocked fabric on this side because the placket will extend out on this side and we'll sew the buttons to the placket. to go to the ironing board again and I need to press my placket toward the inside of the dress and then I need to press um, the other edge of the long placket. So what I'll do is I'll press this towards the placket. I said I press it toward the inside of the dress but that's wrong. So I'll press this towards the placket. I may even trim my placket a little bit shorter. And then I'll fold over this edge, and then this folds over like this, and then I'll pin it into place and sew it. But let me go to the end. Let me trim my seam to about one quarter of an inch, or maybe even about one eighth of an inch. Um, and then I'll go to the ironing board and I'll be right back. Okay, I've got that placket pressed um, and the edge pressed, and I've gone ahead and pinned the placket into place so that I can do some tiny little whip stitches and hold the placket um, to the inside of the dress. Now, if you would rather do invisible stitches, that's fine. I tend to do little whip stitches at about 3 16 of an inch. 
it's just like you know the way I roll move that pin down Okay, so this will take me a little while to get whip stitched all the way along the edge of the placket. So I'll be right back. Okay, I've got that placket all whip stitched to the inside of the dress. And I went to the ironing board and I gave the placket a little press. And what I did was I pressed it toward the inside on what will be the buttonhole side. And I pressed it flat on the side where we'll be sewing the buttons. Now the last thing that I need to do, down here at the bottom of the placket, right above the slit, I just kind of pull that where it comes in kind of straight. Then I'm gonna sew a little diagonal line holding the insides of the placket together. Just do a few stitches going back and forth right at the bottom of the placket. And that tends to help to keep the placket from um, inadvertently, you know, sticking out of the back of the dress. There. Okay. Let me get my threads out of the way. Okay, let me zoom out for a minute. Okay, so the placket is finished. Let me turn the dress right side out. And we've got the back opening of the dress finished. Okay, and what we got what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pin the buttonhole side to the inside of the dress so that I will remember to make sure that that stays folded in. And the dress will close like this. I will have three buttonholes to hold the dress open and I'll work on making my buttonholes in the next video. But this dress is turning out real sweet. Okay, the smocking I think is just very, very festive. Okay, all right, so sewing the back front seam was what we were doing today along with creating the placket. Thank you.